Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. It was a long weekend here in the UK for the May Bank holiday. Um, is May Day a thing that happens all across the world? Probably. Um, that's why this video is starting on Wednesday. Um, but I also, I'm still very tired. I'm still struggling a lot. I fell down a weird autistic hyperfocus hole from Sunday through Tuesday. Um, which maybe sounds fun, but if you're autistic and you've experienced it, you probably know that it's not very fun. Um, it can be if it's productive and in the right place at the right time, but otherwise it's just this weird thing where you can't focus on anything else, even though you have responsibilities and things to do and you can't really break out of it, you just have to run it through. Like, I, I don't know about other people, but in my experience, I literally just have to sit and do it until it runs out, like until I get bored or I get fed up or the focus breaks. It's so strange. Um, and now I'm somehow more tired than when I started. So that wasn't ideal. The hyper focus was on Animal Crossing. I have some regrets. Um, but now I thought I would show you how I set up my day. Originally, or not just my day, but my week. This was originally just going to be a little clip for you to watch, but it's quite long, and then I thought maybe people would be interested. Um, so I'll explain it a bit. Um, so for digital planning, which is more about managing daily tasks, and then my paper planning is more about keeping memories and stuff, or keeping a written log, um, I do them for different reasons, and I don't want to super talk about it, because I'll lose, you know, a lot of time. <laughs> Um, but I do both for different reasons, and the digital planning is about daily management. Um, and to do this, I use a combination of Notion, which a lot of people use now, and Timo, which is an app that was written and developed for neurodivergent people. Um, I've worked closely with the Timo team for a long time, and they're really fantastic, and the app is constantly um, updating and stuff, and this is not spawn, I just really like them. Um, so what you can see me doing here is I have a weekly overview in Notion and I'm adding tasks under the Wednesday um, title. Um, I do this every week, I'll just delete out the old stuff and then add in the new stuff. It's useful because if I fall behind in my notebooks like I have done this week and for the last like 10 days, um, then I have that Notion log that I can then put into my planner. Um, I did not remember to do that this time before deleting it all, which is literally like the clown emoji. Um, so I'm looking forward to 10 blank pages in my planner. Um, but what I do is add all my tasks in Notion because I can have a weekly overview. And then what I'll do after that is add in my daily tasks to Timo, um, which is an app that I can use on my watch, which I show you. Um, and that just helps me to have it on me throughout the day. Um, I find using one or the other doesn't really work, but if I use both apps in tandem, then somehow I, it feels more efficient and I like it more, I don't know why. Um, I'm hoping in the future maybe Timo will, um, will uh, uh, update, I guess, to offer more options, like a weekly calendar or like a bigger overview. You can kind of see it in the web app of Timo, but then I think the web app is quite old and not very well updated, so it's a bit, bit like, shonky. Um, so I, in Timo, what I do is I have an evening and a morning routine and you can add a bunch of tick boxes under the routine sections and you can set time frames for them. So my morning routine is 8 or 9 or something and then my evening routine is like 5.30pm or 6pm until like 11pm and then what I do is in the middle of the day from 9 in the morning till 5.30pm I just add a category that I call Wednesday or Friday or Saturday um, and then within that category, I just add all of my daily to-do lists. Um, so that's what you can see me doing here. I've written everything out in Notion for the week or for most of the week, which I'll add to as I go. And then each day I'll set up um, my like daily category in Timo. Um, so that's what's, what's happened <laughs> so far in, in what you're seeing. Um, it works well for me. I don't know why I can't explain it. It just, it helps to have it in multiple places, I think. Um, I actually made my own icons, that's what you can see at the very top, those little grey icons. I used um, like a stock photo icon site and I just made all my own icons for it um, because I'm not a super big fan of the ones Timo has built in and obviously because I'm quite an aesthetically driven person, which I think is why I use Notion, um, it just helps me to function a bit better if what I'm looking at is nice. <laughs> I know that's kind of daft, um, but I'm sure a lot of people can probably relate. Um, so I'm filling all the icons in for the pictures because then when you look at the tasks on your watch you can see the icons. 
Um, I think I'm taking a long time because some of the icons are on my phone and they've not synced over onto the iPad app. So I'm confused about where like the tick box icon I made and stuff is, um, but I'll fix it later. And then what you can do is you can choose whether to update that routine for the whole day or the whole week or like eternally. Um, Timo has a lot of really cool customization options um, and that's what I like most about it, I think. I'm getting my nails done on Friday for anyone concerned about the growth. <laughs> um, I really struggle to put my watch on with one hand some days. Um, some days it's really easy and other days I'm there for like 15 minutes and I end up in tears just trying to put my watch on. <laughs> And then what I'll do is sync um, on the Timo app, you swipe across and then there's the option to sync up um, to sync up your day from the app um, so that they talk to each other and update. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. And then you can see the day um, and it's quite cool. There it is. Um, so that's the, the little blue sort of um, border around the circle is the progress of the day. It's really cool, the progress of the routine. So it tells you how long is left in the day, which I quite like. Um, I actually took a break from using my watch and stuff for a while because I was feeling a bit overwhelmed. But now that I'm easing back into it, it's feeling a lot better. And yeah, there you go.
<laughs> Good job. Yes. Good job. with that is that in the British colonies like Sri Lanka where they were growing the rubber trees there weren't any natural predators or diseases that could kill the trees so it didn't matter how many you grow together however in the this week I have something additionally exciting to show you um stationary pal were kind enough to gift me some of their products in exchange for like a review um I did not manage to open that sticker it's really so sad. Look at the bubble wrap though, his little hearts. So nice. It arrived pretty quickly. Um, oh my god, I love... Oh my god. I love it. I don't know what to say. I literally just... I love that. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Oh my god. With a little hat. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. Damn, okay, don't get distracted <laughs> by the bear. Oh my gosh, right, okay. I've never used one of these. Do you call them pop sockets? I've never used one. Um, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Nice. I'm literally so excited. <laughs> my god, so much random fun stuff. I don't want to make a mess. Wednesday's in her bed. I don't want her to come over and get all up in it. Oh my god. Literally just this. I love it. Wow. Mm. Yes. Right. <gasps> no way. Oh my god, they sent me so much stuff. This is literally the most exciting thing to ever happen to me. <laughs> Um, stickers, yes, oh my god, no, literally so nice, oh my god, maybe what I'll do is sit at my desk and I'll show you things one by one, oh my god, I'm gonna die, look at this, look at this bookmark, oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm actually not gonna make it, you guys. I, I'm gonna have to process. <laughs> Hang on, I'll move to the desk and I'll, <gasps> I'll show you everything slowly because otherwise this is gonna be the worst, the worst little haul in history. Because I need to move all of the tissue and the the confetti, and then I'll, um, I'll show you everything.
move. It's really well made. The yeah. color's terrible. That's my choice, though. It is a bad color. But what makes this one cool is that um, it's got a really thin um, barrel at the end. Yeah. So when you're using it, if you just have a little bit of lead sticking out, um, if you press hard when you're writing, mm -hmm. the thin barrel doesn't get in the way of being at an angle when you're writing. Yeah. It protects the lead from snapping. Ah. Oh. And then it's got a... So it doesn't retract very far, so it's quite kind of... feels like vulnerable if you had it in a pocket or something. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but then um, you twist the end of the barrel here, yeah. and they're really thin. Oh it? yeah, so it, it that's keeps, smart. It feeds out the more you twist it, and eventually you have to replace it. But it's an eraser. So it comes to the bit where you clip it out, yeah. But it's, it's a really fine eraser. So if you're if you're doing technical fine drawing stuff, you can get it right in there. Wow, nice. Or then you know, rub out a big area. Yeah, cool. So it's nice, very mm. well made. Yeah, just bad color. Choice. Bad color. <laughs> and this one is. Um, more interesting. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like it's so well made. This one's all metal. This yeah. one's got a grippy section here, but it feels a bit cheaper made. Which pen is this? Wednesday. Um, Monograph Zero. Yeah. By Tombow. It's nice to Tombow. Yeah, Tombow makes yeah. really good pens too. Mm -hmm, they do. Wednesday. This one's a uh, Mitsubishi uh, Uni pencil. Yeah. So it says I'm a racer or something on it, which I don't typically, typically use with pencils anyway. Yeah. 
Um, it has a nicer grip, it's softer, but it, it feels cheaper the way it's made. But I'm sure yeah. it's not, but it feels a bit kind of I don't know, rough on the top. You prefer the feel of the metal one? Yeah, I think so. But this, the, the feature on this one that makes it really cool is that when you extend it, the barrel pops out. Yeah. A bit like some of the um, road trim ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Determined to get attention. And then you can do the same thing, so you can just have a little bit of lead sticking out, and this is thin enough to be able to write at an angle and protect the lead. Yeah. What makes this one really cool is when you're drawing, the pressure of writing and drawing yeah. rotates the lead as you're using it. So, so you, it doesn't get sharp on one side? You don't get a slant on the lead. Ah. So you get consistent writing, um, a line definition, if you like, yeah. I guess. Sure. That looks really cool. So it's a really clever pencil. It's really interesting. So I'll probably yeah. use this one the most. I'll use this in the workshop because this is a thin barrel. Yeah. It'll get into a narrow place where I'm trying to mark wood and yeah, stuff. Sure. So it'll be really good for that. Nice. And this one's just a stimming Your thing. Your fidgety pen. Yeah, this is just a stimming. This is a child of memory thing. Um, yeah. It feels really nice though. It's, it's yeah. got a nice grip. It it's is nice. silicone on the outside. Nice yeah. colour. But I mean the pen, the lead is, uh, sorry, the, um, the ink lines are really, really nice. Yeah. Um, they're kind of pastel-y colours. Oh, nice. I'll have to show you. Yeah. But as a stimming thing, it's great because you can just, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that was a me in school. I used to get them confiscated. Yeah. And then you've got a nice uh, springy clip, which I've not seen as well. So that's fun. Oh, to play but with like, too. yeah, cool. And then the tip is like this kind of rubbery tip as well, which is kind of nice to rub with some of it as well. So <laughs> yeah. it's just a really great stim tie, actually. Nice. Excellent. What's this one? That's the Missy Bitchy um, yeah. Uni one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And this one? Yeah. I'm pleased with three of them. Nice. The colour choice is poor in the green one, definitely. <laughs> it's a really nice build, though. It's a really nice pencil. Yeah. Cool.